The goal of this video is to feel how the bone spirals, the femur, the hip bone, when we're bending and straightening our legs. So the first place I want you to feel is down at the condyles of the knee. And just go ahead and shake your leg out and let the foot fall wherever it naturally falls. So technically in the world of biomechanics, the center of the knee joint will fall in a plumb line directly below the hip joint, which makes sense for weight bearing. And then it will also fall down to the top bone of the foot, the talus. So what we want to do is find that natural alignment without forcing anything into position. That's why I encourage you to just shake your leg. It might have some rotation in or out depending on how you've trained or how you naturally walk, but just let the leg be relaxed. And then slide your hands down to the condyles of the knee and just bend your legs a few times with the leg being soft and start to feel if I touch the outsides with just my fingertips, right, the outsides of the condyles with just my fingertips, and I imagine an axis running directly out to the sides. See if you can feel how that axis turns. This to me is the easiest way to begin to feel what's happening in the femur. Now, you won't be able to see it on the video, but when I start, my fingers are straight, and then when I end, they've shifted slightly. So see if you can feel, try the other knee, see if you can feel which direction they naturally want to shift. Now it may be that because of certain patterns you hold in your body, that they're gonna shift a different way than I'll say the biomechanics say, and that's fine. You'll begin to train better patterns and you'll feel these things arise naturally. So if you didn't feel it, the answer is that the femurs will rotate outwards as I bend the knee. In biomechanics, they call this the automatic rotation of the femur and they discovered it back in Civil War times, American Civil War times. And basically what they know is that as I bend my knee, the femurs will rotate externally about five degrees. So this is news for a lot of people and a lot of people have trained to really think the knee goes straight forward and straight back. This is essentially what people train when they say knee over the second toe. So I'm here telling you that it's a bit more complicated than that. And that actually, yes, it's swinging forward, but it's also rotating out. So to try that, to imagine it, let your arms hang and imagine that your hands are your knee joints and swing them forward, just like your legs, and then rotate your thumbs just a little bit up towards the ceiling. So that is the rotation. So go ahead and try that. Straighten your legs and rotate, and then drop it, and rotate, and drop. And then if you have a femur model, like I do, you can imagine or if you don't have a femur model, you can imagine the actual shape of that bone doing a little bit of an external rotation and an internal rotation when I straighten. Now that means that when I land from a jump, not all of that force is being absorbed in the forward motion of the femur. Some of it is being absorbed in a three-dimensional rotation. One of the most elegant examples of this I've seen of why, why that would be the case is to think about a pitcher. And you'd laugh pretty hard if a major league pitcher threw a ball straight forward. Well, just the same way your knee doesn't move straight forward. It's actually doing a spiral more like, like a Nike swoosh, right? That's why I would think that the swoosh shows so much action, right? It shows movement. And that's because this is the way movement happens in the body and in nature. So go ahead and feel that one last time. This time we'll feel it from the tops of the thighs so you can imagine or feel how the muscle wraps in a little bit following the trail of that bone and going in. And now imagine and feel the way it rotates out and in as you bend and straighten your legs. And then can you see the femur heads that rotation and also happening in the balls 
of the hip socket. If you enjoyed this video, sign up for the Embody Space newsletter and share the link with a friend. You can also find original content on Facebook and Instagram.